G'day humans, Chris Stead here. I'm at the Robo Rock S8 launch uh, at the Ayers Rock Resort over near Uluru. Uh, and I've got a couple of members of the company here to talk about the product. Uh, guys, can you please introduce yourselves and your roles in the company? My name is Peter. I am the Shadow Director for Robo Rock Australia. I'm Ted. Uh, I'm Country Manager of Australia and Australia. Thanks guys. Um, so in the presentation we just saw then, you, you originally spoke about getting a bit of feedback on the S7. Can you talk about the type of feedback you guys received? Uh, very positive feedback. Uh, the machine's been very efficient. Some of the machine been running more than two years and the customer's still using it. Our uh, service uh, backup is second to none. So we do a look after our customer uh, from the point of purchase until the, uh, the customer's usage. Um, and what specific, uh, specific improvements can we see in the S8 over the S7? Dual uh, roller is a key feature for this year, and also the 60,000 uh, PA. 6,000 PA is uh, definitely the key features. Right, so the dual roller was interesting. Um, I used a bit of the S6. Um, pet hair was definitely something I thought that it struggled with. Um, so this dual roller system, that's a big thing for pet hair hair. That's what the uh, customers will notice in terms of the improvement? Yes, because of the dual silicon roller plus the suction, uh, the improvement of the suction power, that will definitely do the job. I noticed in the demonstration we just saw then uh, that it was on relatively low pile carpet. So how does the pile of the carpet affect the um, ability for it to pick up things like hair? Uh, shouldn't be affect much because unless you got over the hair, the machine would be able to sell lift uh, 0.5 centimeters. So unless your carpet is a lot thicker, uh, other than that, it's an effective performance of the unit. Um, one thing I did notice when I was using previous models was mopping on hardwood floors um, concerned me a little bit. I was a bit worried about maybe scratching the floor or something like that. Has that been anything in the feedback? Have you guys looked into that at all? Uh, no, there's certainly an improvement on the mopping facility where now they actually got a dual vibration so on the roller, uh, on the mopping pad, uh, therefore the, uh, it shouldn't scrub the floor because it's only a vibration, not a physical, mechanical movement. Um, so over here behind you guys, we've got the products, uh, the three models. Can you potentially just talk us through the differences between the S8, S8 Plus and the S8 Pro Ultra? Okay, the S8 is our um, standalone machine. Uh, which is uh, just a standalone machine, where the LX Plus it comes with a dock. Yep. Uh, that dock will allow the uh, up to seven weeks with our uh, empty the cleaning machine, and we got the Ultra. The difference between why we need this model here is if you got a carpet only environment, you do not need to buy the Ultra because you don't need the mopping facility. Where this one here will able to be enough for your usage is only you carpets only. Where the Ultra is um, more of a mopping environment, it's due, more mopping and uh, carp uh, carpet vacuuming. I've uh, got a clean water tank, a dirty water tank, and a dustbin. And it will, the machine will be able to go in uh, and go back to the machine, uh, go back to the dock to sell empty and refill the water and empty out the dirty water at the same time. And the mop will be self-cleaning as well. And self-drying as well, is that right? That's correct, yes. After the mop is clean, uh, there will be a hot air coming through to uh, dry off the mop, yes. So is it fair to say that the robots themselves are kind of the same between the three models, but it's the dock which is the different factor? Uh, not exactly, because the, um, the S8 and the 8 Plus are similar machine uh, beside the dock, but when you go to the Ultra, it's a next level up. Right. The technology is a different technology. You notice the machine itself is different. So this one is actually a lot bigger and actually got mechanical part to actually lift the machine, the mop. So the other one actually using the wheel to lift the mop. Yep. Basically, the uh, Pro Ultra will enhance the, the mopping function. So as Peter mentioned, the, the mop itself can be kind of like a uh, dual, like a white, to get it more efficient to clean the, like, the, the um, 
you mentioned before that the well, what can you put in the water to, for the cleaning. So obviously uh, RoboRock has its own cleaning solution, but can you put any cleaning solution in there? Uh, you can put any liquid bike cleaning solution as long as not a uh, detergent solution, because what they do is the detergent uh, might able might be turning cock up in the system. It's not water based. Um, the one we're using is uh, partner with Omo, and it's water based. Right, and with the dust bags, I remember with the, the last one I was using, the dust bags um, weren't easily reusable. Have it, has there been any changes there with the dust bags? Uh, the dust bag is not designed to be reusable. Uh, it's not designed for that matter. You know, we will highly recommend to replace it yep. uh, for two reasons. One is user friendly, and the other one is for hygienics. Because yeah, the dust bag will be keep the dust bag in there for a long time. It could create some germ and some other fungi inside. So the ideally is to replace the bag when it's full. Right, um, and there was a part in the presentation where you guys were speaking about improvements to local servicing, local warranty. Can you talk us through what you've done there? At the moment, all our service centre, uh, all our uh, we had our service centre in Sydney, uh, mainly. Uh, this year, we're expanding to our interstate service centre. That's including Sydney, Brisbane, uh, Melbourne, and WA. Uh, what that allows to do is a faster turnaround time for our customer experience. Right, okay, and um, I'm interested, do you, do you find that there's many customers with Robo Rock that will upgrade on a yearly basis, or do, do people tend to buy and then keep for a few iterations? Uh, what we find is um, people do upgrade quite frequently, uh, mainly because uh, what they might do with an old machine, they might put it on different property, or put it on an upstairs, yeah. and do the new one for downstairs. So the pop, the, uh, at the moment, what we're experiencing, the upgrade is quite, um, quite good. Yeah, so I was interested about that because I've got a multi-storey house. Um, so can you sell the, can you, can you put the bases on separately or do you, um, can you sell a base separately or just the robot separately? Because I have it, for example, a base upstairs, a base downstairs, but one robot. Yes, you can do that. So you do sell the bases separately? Uh, depend on the model. And uh, for example, this one now. This one does the, 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 the ultra doesn't sell the bike doesn't sell separately. Yeah. Yep. Uh, depend on the model. Uh, ideally, is um, you can take the machine upstairs, or you don't need the dock because this dock is quite heavy and it's quite uh, a unique feature. So you can take the machine upstairs just for majority of the upstairs will be carpet. So just take this machine up there just for carpeting, for vacuum, and then the, this one downstairs for vacuum and mop. Um, and one final question, uh, can you just talk us through the pricing of the three models and, and how you landed on the prices? Uh, the SH start with uh, $12.99, that's our basic machine there. The Plus is $18.99 and the Ultra is $26.99. We managed to maintain the same price as our previous model for the Ultra, so we keep it at $26.99. Thanks very much guys, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.